Hi guys, in today's video, I just wanted to show you my setup uh, for navigation. And I intend to tell you, you know, how it works for me as far as navigation is concerned. Um, that's on my Gaskas as well as on my Northern 901. The setup I'm about to show you is on the Gaskas. As you can see, the first sort of base for it is the rally tower. And the devices I'm using, the laying on the bike, as you can see, is a tablet, Samsung um, Active Free tab, and Garmin Zumo XT, the first version. So the way, I, I think, first thing, you know, Rally Tower, I'm really finding the Rally Tower that it works really well uh, for the two devices, how I have it, because you've got visibility of sat nav of your map as well as you know second map ultimately on your tablet but the original setup for me was mainly to have a tablet for rally so i can load up the road books so here i'm using the holder for the garmin nav on my handlebars and that's the sort of uh, holder for the tablet tablet case is brought it came together with the holder and um, on the handlebars I've got a setup for it's a KTM handlebar mount I couldn't stop myself so here is just a quick um, sound of the bike and starting up I think that this setup is really clean. It works for me really well. Sat nav is quite small on the handlebars, so it's not in the way. Tablet, which is bigger, uh, just about fits right, sort of nicely there, uh, close to the windshield. So I, fi I find it really nice and clean. I had wired all the mounts so the tablet brought it uh, mount is mount is linked together with the 12 millimeter uh, bar mount you can move it about you can adjust your tablet position uh, tilt it how you like or like that setup and the same for the Garmin um, it's hardwired into the the battery and I'm sort of leaving it on the bike, generally speaking, but you can slide it out if you want and maybe make a quick connector um, to unplug it, which which I don't plan to do. That's why it's hardwired. I find it, I find it okay, but you can do either way. So that's the setup uh, for the mounts. Let's move on to devices themselves. Garmin Zoom XT. Yeah, it just pops in there in place and then as it bike detects it so it will just uh, turn on automatically when you turn on the ignition and then tablet you can slide it in nice and easy slots in there locks in place and it doesn't really go anywhere i've tested it off-road um reading it extensively and it's been absolutely brilliant so 
I'll, I'll highly recommend you know this setup so from the rider's point of view you can see everything you can see the dials you can see the bikes display mileage speedo and so on as well as tablets and, and navigation so um, pretty clean for rally an 80 inch tablet big enough screen uh, for the roadbook navigation so that'd be useful to have the, the, the sizable screen there for the rallies navigation like I say you just open and you have to move on to navigate and it takes you to Google Maps so you can't actually use the DMD tool for the navigation but that's okay I mean for me it works fine Google Maps um, it's okay but not great off-road because it doesn't have the maps there any sort of off-road green laning I do I'll, um, I'll do it with this setup I'll have a GPX file mount you know installed onto the tablet and this way um, it will display the track so you can sort of follow it on the map I'll show you uh, a little bit later uh, how it all looks like so I'm using the uh, uh, maps uh, that come with the DMD dashboard too with that I think uh, the main thing to mention is it doesn't actually the DMD2 doesn't actually work as a navigation because every time if you want to navigate to say a starting point you actually have to use Google Maps so it will send you to Google Maps and navigate you or on the roads to get to the starting point so not great uh, for finding green lanes you still have to do it sort of uh, manually so you need to load up GPX file prior to leaving and then follow the track that you've got there. Here I just wanted to show you how it looks like in a, in a broad daylight when you're riding most of the time in a, in a direct sun. I find the tablet equal brightness to the Garmin. Um, normally I get quite good uh, visibility in a very bright sun you know it, it's troublesome but like you can see it's it's quite good so you don't have to spend the money it will cost you the uh, designated device like from the fork um i think they sell them for like 700 pounds this is more than half price setup um, tablet is waterproof a dmd to works on it so everything is spot on for me that's it for the video today. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you like. And uh, watch out for more. Take care. Bye bye.